Hello, and welcome to a quick review of the Banpresto Age of Heroes Deku statue. As you can see in front of us today, we have a um, Banpresto statue of De Deku, as, as I just explained, from My Hero Academia. Um, it's, it's a fairly straightforward statue, but I thought I'd open it up for you guys and kind of take a look at it and stuff, because I do want um, to get a few more statues, uh, especially style, sort of My Hero Academia collection. So as you can see here, it's got the uh, Van Presto logo there. It's, uh, Cream King, which I think means in Japan, these are kind of like claw machine prizes kind of stuff. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the box. It's kind of just a few varying shots of... Um, the statue, obviously, because it doesn't move or have interchangeable parts, so it's fairly straightforward. And, um, yeah, it's part of the Age of Heroes range. There are different ones. I think there's, like, Heroes Coliseum, which is another My Hero Academia kind of Banpresto statue thing. But um, I sprung for this one, and I'll explain why in a second. But first, I'm going to cut open the box, take it out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've opened it up, it came in this very uh, lovely cardboard protector kind of thing, and it comes in three parts. We have the base, we have the body, and the head. Uh, presumably the head is quite fragile or something, or maybe it's to protect against all the spikes of his hair or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to put this together, uh, and I'll be right back. Alright, he is out of the box and assembled, and I've got to admit, this is a darn good figure. Um, Obviously, Banpresto are, you know, one of the leading kind of statue makers, especially for, like, shounen statues and stuff at a affordable price point. Um, so, you know, I, I knew, knew what I was getting going in for this, but, man, they have really um, put all pulled out all the stops, really. So, we'll take a um, quick look round the statue. So, they've got, like, even the little things like his shoelaces, um, a few, like, metal points on his shoes, along with the metal points on his knee pads. Uh, moving on up, we've got his pouches. I can't remember what he keeps in those pouches, really. If he keeps anything. Maybe they're just their futility things? It's not really ringing a bell. Anyway, we've got um, detailing on his arm kind of things that uh, help him with his quirk. Um, and going on round the back there, we've got his kind of hood fluttering. Um, so actually, this is something I didn't realise from the anime, but um, the eye parts are, um, they're actually kind of like black and hard, if that makes sense. So I thought these were um, cut away, if that makes sense. You saw his eyes, but apparently there's like some protective film that goes over where his eyes would be, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I, I quite like the sort of dynamicness of it. It makes it look like um, he's not just standing still. There is some like air or something. And you can kind of see the um, the creases in his clothes as well that make it look like he is actually kind of wearing something as opposed to this is just, you know, kind of part of his skin or whatever. And the face, of course, is really well uh, detailed and stuff as well. The hair is sl like subtly green. It's not quite as green as I was expecting it to be, but then in the right light, when the light hits it, it does look the correct kind of green, if that makes sense. And obviously he's got his um, breathing part. I, I, I assume that's like a breathing part or whatever. He, he doesn't very often wear these things, really. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a darn cool statue. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, the reason... I went for this slightly generic pose is that there are quite a few Deku statues, obviously because he's the he's the main character of um, My Hero Academia, but quite a few of his statues have him kind of in, you know, the smash pose, um, and then he's jumping or about to hit or something. But they're always in the air, and they're always kind of held up on a um, stand, and I don't think it looks quite as well, as good, really. Um, coupled with that as well, I've got a few other Banpresto figures that are kind of in a similar pose. They're kind of like action ready, but they're not necessarily attacking or something. So I'm trying to go for that kind of theme with my statues, because that way it's a nice in-between between like a fully neutral pose and an action pose. It's kind of midway. Um, and yeah, I, I think the Age of Heroes line is exactly what they're going for with that. I think the different lines tend to be different things, so maybe like... Hero Coliseum is more action-based. I'm not fully sure. But yeah, honestly, there's not much more to say about this statue. The details are fantastic, as I've mentioned. Um, the price point is pretty darn good as well. I think this cost me 
20 pounds maybe 22 i think i got her on a sale though so i got a couple quid off but honestly as with you know a majority of band presto statues this is a nice affordable thing and you know if you're a fan of my hero academia you can do far worse than this i think um yeah and hopefully i'll start building my my hero academia shelf uh once it's done maybe i'll show you guys a video some pictures something talking of pictures i'm gonna chuck a couple at the end here of just kind of like you know looking at different parts of him or whatever and if you stay tuned at the end there might be a sneak peek at the next video i'm gonna make because spoilers it's also gonna be my hero academia ban presto statue but who's it gonna be of wait and see uh anyway and yeah until next time goodbye